Guys, today is one of my favorite days. It's sonogram day. I don't know if we're getting a sonogram. It might be a check. <laughs> but I don't know. I'm well, sure. hopefully it's... I don't know because of what we had to do last time. I'm not sure if it's a sonogram or if it's a checkup. Because remember... Let's hope it's a sonogram. Because the baby had her little hiccup, you know? So I don't know if we have to do... It's probably... I'm not sure. We'll Look, find out. It's uh, it's checkup day, if it's anything. It's baby checkup day. It's baby day. That's, That's what it is. Baby. I'm hoping for a sonogram because I love being able to I see it. I kind of hope it is too. Usually if we're there for three hours, I hope there's a sonogram involved. <laughs> so it doesn't look like we're going to be doing a sonogram. Maybe this is a new sonogram tool when it goes. But, where's the... <laughs> but there's no screen. So only get to see it. Is... No, there's not. I'm listening to the heartbeat. Darn it. I wanted to see her today. I'm sorry. It's your fault. And it's just for now. Your belly button's popping out. It's not popping off. It's just not there anymore. <laughs> Maybe I should change the words about when that never happened. She's been moving a lot lately. And so the heartbeat's all over the place, and that's what I'm so just from one day being under all the trees and it being pollen season, Allie's poor car just got covered overnight. This is just overnight. It's not your fault. The trees decided to pollinate the car. Oh, and a bird decided to pollinate it. <laughs> Don't you judge her. So the baby girl is totally good. Her heartbeats, as you guys saw, her heartbeat is kicking. Perfect. 110 to 160 for uh, uh, the average, and she's right in the middle. The next one we have is in April. April. Sorry, that was loud. In April. Yep. No sugar. No more sugar. Obviously, we are. <laughs> we are right there in the middle of. Now we gotta find the uh, dresser for the uh, nursery. We're just slowly but surely getting through everything. Right now we're checking. I wanted to check out some like consignment shops because usually you can find some cool antique stuff. I don't know. This is cool. So it's got like things that they had in model homes and and like antique. I think we found something. I love the carpet. So we found this right here. We would take off this so we don't the mirror. Like literally solid wood. Said. But you get the mirror off. You could take the mirror off and you could put it on the wall realistically if you wanted to. I don't know if I like it that much. But this is solid wood. And they would, it's like $400. She was going to lower to $329. Like literally, this would be thousands of dollars. Solid. Solid wood. And it looks vintage. And it's beautiful. It's and this is close to our floor color and it looks awesome next to each other. Then you have like a mm -hmm. white crib next to it. Because I've had my little baby paws all over. <laughs> <laughs> Consignment shop number two. Poor little car. Look at it, let's do a sad face. Are those birds? Yeah. This is like a treasure chest. Wow. They probably have lighting here, Al. What's up, bird? There's birds everywhere. This is massive. I got lost. Took a wrong turn. Are you overwhelmed? No, I love it. Double up and look at lamps, too. Give me one thing to look at at a time. Uh, all right, you do that, I'll look at lamps. Actually, I'm not going to do that because she's probably going to want something different than me. I've just been letting her do it. I found this and this. This is where you can uh, do breastfeeding right here on this thing. And this is what can stare at you. I turned my thinking on to make sure it's aligned with yours. I'm obviously doubtful, how could anyone? Turn my opinion round Try to understand What all the fuss is about If I admit to myself I built my love around All the love is made A pretty little picture inside my head Yeah While all the other ones Pick a little image up on themselves Hello. 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 Oh my. 
Hello. Before Square, <laughs> we have to come back. Yeah. There's way too much. The sensory overload is really what's happening. They have so many birds too. Do you see this? That's adorable. That's a little excessive. I like this thing. No, I don't either. And it's super expensive. That's, well it comes, it's all of that. Oh, it's close to bed? It's all of it. Yeah, we don't need that. All right, internet, in the comments, what do you see right now? I see two people. And a hand. And a hand. I see those two things. Cool? Anyone else see anything else? Sideways maybe? Upside down maybe? So one thing we found out today is that Allie's been having little mini contractions. They're glorious. So like the pre-contractions. Where are you going? You're gonna take the I was gonna drive, but then. <laughs> so how are they feeling though right now? Um it's like a little tightening every once in a while. It's their interesting feeling. It's not comfortable in the least. <laughs> I like to call it a Charlie horse in your stomach. Because <laughs> the last couple of nights, Allie's been saying that she's been having these weird like pains and we talked to the doctor and she's like, oh yeah, those are mini contractions. She asked me, yeah, she was like, are you having contractions? And I was like, am I having them? I was like, I don't know, am I? You know, because I was not sure. And uh, she goes, well, and I was explaining her, I'm like, I get these tightening things on my stomach, can you fix that? I can't this one, I can't <laughs> And she's like, yep, yeah, you are. And, and I was like, is that bad? She's like, no, no, it's just sometimes you need a little extra water. But still, it's like, there's uh, some days, like in the beginning when I was like, oh. Or like, like the other day, I had like a real tight one. I was like, oh, it like, it like, kind of takes your breath away a little bit. So I it's made starting. Sure it wasn't bad. Like, I made sure it wasn't bad. Like, I, that was my biggest concern. It's like, should I be? freaking out that these things are happening and she's like are they often and they're not but i guess it's natural because it's your body preparing you for childbirth you guys remember uh, i think it was probably a couple weeks ago where i was talking about the cbd company who ended up sponsoring the video health smart cbd they found out that i was going through the chemo again and they sent me a bunch of the stuff that i this okay so this is stuff i usually get i get the uh the tinctures uh the vape cartridges which really help uh, with seizures and stuff like that. At least they've been helping me. What I do every single day is I take, they have capsules now too. Also, I gotta show you this. They actually have dog CBD. <laughs> this company, uh, this site, this company, I should say, has literally everything you possibly can eat. They have different types of capsules, like hemp capsules. I take one of these little, these capsules every single day in the morning. And then I take some of the tincture. I try to do two or three times. Like anytime I remember, I just do like a little drop under my tongue. I think I showed you last time they had the salve and stuff like that where you can rub on if you guys have like any sore muscles and stuff, which really helps a lot, especially my back. And then they have the disposable vape cartridges. They literally have anything you can possibly think of. They have the regular cartridges that you put on top of a battery, which they sell now as well. Right here, let me show you this little battery thing. You put the cartridge in that and you can just, it's, you have it. Instead of that giant thing for people with anxiety, especially, I've seen people with the giant little, it's not little, it's like an oxymoron, the giant container that has just something that like helps them with that. This, all you need. And then you get like a cartridge. And I literally have either that or my disposable in my pocket literally throughout the day, pretty much 24 seven. Since like, unfortunately the chemo is coming and it sucks, luckily, I have pretty much, I am set. Like I have the tinctures, I got the pills, I got the cartridges, I got the ball, the salve, I got the, uh, this is not for me, but I got the dog CBD for the girls and the dude. Remember how I was telling you guys, you get 20% off if you use Charles20 as the coupon code. This is, okay, this is, this is cool. I'm not, this is not just blah, 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 blowing smoke up everyone. This is actually genuinely cool. So they have a subscription service as well. So like you can get like a tincture, a vape pet cartridge or whatever. Um, I think it's every 30 days or every month and they'll send it to you and it's discounted. When I talked to them last, they said what they'll do is cause they saw the demand and the excitement that you guys had the last time that they're still gonna do the 20% off with Charles 20. But if you go and do the, uh, the subscription service, which is cheaper, it's discounted more, and use Charles 20, they're gonna combine it. So I'm not sure the math of what that'd be. It'd be over 20% savings. So I recommend it. I don't like pushing this on, you know, I'm not a doctor or anything like that, 
But for things like anxiety, you know, like seizures, going through chemo, things like that, uh, hopefully nobody else is doing that. I've been recommending using CBD. It's been helping tremendously. Go check it out, guys. I'll put a link down in the description. It, they made a nice little cool landing page with our stupid faces on it. And I think there's a link within that page that says the subscription section. Go to the subscription section, find one you want, or you can do the one off. It's up to you guys. But if you use Charles 20 on any of your orders, you'll get 20% off. Go check it out. Let me know what you guys think. Check it out if you've always been interested. Now's honestly, now's the time. I don't wanna be cheesy, but honestly, I'm being genuinely serious. I love this company. I love what they represent. I've talked to the owner so many times. He is a cool dude and he truly believes in the healing effects and the positivity of this stuff. So if you've ever been curious, now's, now's the time to really, you know, check it out. What are these? I'm curious, but I'm also terrified to... That's deep. What is that thing? Here, I'm gonna put the camera in here. What do you guys see? Marley! Hey! <laughs> what are you doing in there? What is going on with you guys? <laughs> Alright, homies. Get out of the damn bush. <laughs> I got some pretty cool news. I'm not saying it's for sure right now, but we were actually asked to do like a little sizzle reel for the CTFXC for the past 10 years because some of the producers over at the Ellen Show wanted us to do it. So what I want you guys to do so I can help put this together, I want you guys to give me five low points of the CTFXC. So like the sad parts, you know, the surgery, um, the divorce, things like that, you know, the, the sad parts, the lows of the CTFXC, and then I want five of the craziest awesome parts. So, you know, like the Guinness World Records, playing in front of 20,000 people, getting married, announcing our baby, starting a family. So I want five lows and five highs. So let me know in the comments, and then hopefully you can put this together, and maybe, just maybe, it'll go on, I mean, for 10 years, would that be kind of cool to kind of, like start off or end year 10 maybe off the ellen show that would be pretty gnarly i don't know if it would happen or whatever but step one is that we were asked to do it so that's that's a cool step <laughs> everyone's all feisty <laughs> oh baby contractions or is she just kicking she's kicking she's kicking like a mad woman no, she's our daughter. She she's all who I am blowing up over there. I'm You're the cool, cool guy. She knows there's a pizza involved. That's what's going on. God, it was just like I swear to God, I just felt my stomach go like woo. <laughs> it like caught me off guard. You ready for this? Oh god. What is the least spoken language in the world? Um sign language. I hate you too. Dad joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> you are the weirdest cat. <laughs> you are so funny. You are so funny. <laughs> I will see you tomorrow. I'm an idiot. Alright, bye.